So we have a big one today. This is a new song from I The Breather. Um, I have been listening to these guys for over 10 years um, when this first song, Forgiven, came out. Now, that song was absolutely just massive, absolutely huge. I think that song at the, at the time was better than August Burns Red. It was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, and then they put out a couple of other albums, Truth and Purpose, then Life Reaper. And I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but they haven't done anything since 2014. I constantly type in either Breather um, to see if they've got new content. And they don't. And then just randomly in my subscriptions, this song came out 22 minutes ago. Um, so I'm super amped to see what this is like. Um, I'm going to love it for sure. But it could be a swipe left, swipe right if I don't like it. But I'm sure I will because I absolutely love this band. So Misery Signals... I the breather, um, August Burns Red, Poison the Well, Era, Elitist, around that time I was listening to those bands. So let's listen to this song. I just love this dude's screams. His tones, absolutely love. Oh, so good. The little high lead lead riffs underneath. Just absolute rip gods. Oh. Wow, that's hectic. Oh. Wow. Alright oh, man, just absolutely brutal. These screams are so good. Oh yeah, I like the start. Oh, 
Fuck, man. Kind of reminds me a little bit of how Make Them Suffer has those underlining melodies underneath like that. But they would use the keyboard. Oh, sick. Wow. Breather? Why not either breather? That is perplexing to me. So, far, I'd love to know if it's all the same members of the band that were in it like six years ago. It sounds super similar, like the guitar riffs sound because super technical but just in that in the pocket in that genre of like metalcore but they've gone into massive like and like not as super fast breakdowns really big open ones which yeah i wonder if they're using seven strings now they're probably using seven strings on their last album maybe I have no idea, but that was just absolutely huge. This dude screams. I just, yeah, I just love his tone of his screams. That's why I think I connected with this band. Vocally, I like people who have this sort of tone, the same as, uh, well, that's why I like te Texas in July. I like their tones, August Burns Red. That sort of um, tone in their vocals. Yeah, that was. I w probably would have liked it if the in the chorus part he was singing more cleans because I know on one of their last albums there was a bit more clean singing in it. But that's probably the only thing that I didn't like about it because I was really listening to try and hear what was going on in that chorus part. Oh, yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. I'm so amped. I can't wait to see what else they have because I reckon these guys were, were up there with August Burns Red at that time. I don't know why these guys didn't make it so big because they were just, yeah, fantastic. Fantastic musicians. The drummer's incredible. The singer, like I said, sick tones. All right, well, leave a comment and tell me what you thought of that. Like I said, I didn't even know they were putting out a song. I don't have Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. I just check things out in my subscription and, yeah, massive surprise. All right, thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time.